Hey guys, so today I'm doing a little review in regards to the uh, Omen um, 30L PC. Um, I did have this PC for approximately about like maybe two weeks now and um, I just want to give you guys a little info about it and some of the changes that I've done to it. Um, so if you maybe notice that this kind of does look a little bit more different if we do have like the same um, PC. Um, a few things I did add was actually a RAM to it. Um, I added the same one, the HyperX Fury 32. Um, and um, I bought this for maybe to get around for like forty dollars or so, and um, I'll put a description down there to a link on down in the description. If you want to check that out? Um, another thing I did add as well too is a liquid cooler. It is a Corsair H60. Um, reason why I did this was because I noticed that the stock uh, cooler that was in the uh, PC was actually not enough to keep the CPU at a good idle uh, Celsius. So uh, I was noticing that the Celsius with the uh, old uh, stock cooler, it was approximately about like 60 to 50 Celsius in idle and I thought that was a bit too high. So I definitely had to get a liquid cooler. Um, I know since I made a change that the uh, idling of the liquid cooler is approximately about like 37 Celsius to 40. So that's actually like a big change in the temperature in regards to your CPU. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely leave a, a link in the description for this as well too. Um, and yeah, there's pretty much modifications, not modifications, but just the changes I've done to the CP, to the uh, PC. And um, it's a pretty good PC, I'm not gonna lie. I do like it. The uh, looks are actually very nice. Um, but I also do want to add a few things that could probably just help you out in regards to some of the softwares and drivers I did add. Um, one of them here is actually the Ryzen Master, and um, if you kind of notice, it gives you all the jazz information in regards to the temperature, temperature, uh, peak speeds, and stuff like that. So I definitely uh, would recommend you guys download something like this, and I'll also leave this down in the uh, description just uh, to give you guys a link where to download this at. Um, so if I notice actually a difference between this and the uh, command center that's actually installed, and you kind of notice that the CPU temperature here says it's 42 Celsius. And let's see, if we go down to the Ryzen Master, well, it's actually the same right now. It's at 39, but at times I'll catch at a different temperature, um, like a 5 Celsius difference or so. So I believe the Ryzen Master is actually a little bit more accurate when it comes to the temperatures. Um, but as well, too, another thing I do want to add is um, the chipset. Um, in regards to how much uh, power your uh, CPU should run at. Um, so what I did was actually, let's go to here, let's go to power. I'll type this down, power here. And we'll go down to here, down here to additional power settings. And you see here, I actually have the AMD Ryzen Balance power. Um, you have to download this, uh, this driver. And so I'll actually put a link down there as well too and maybe just um, run it through you guys to tell you how I actually downloaded it. So what I mean to tell you here is just you click on this here, change to uh, advanced power settings, go up here, this will pop up, and you go to processor and power management. Now before I actually did this, this was actually, the minimum power st uh, processor state was actually 99. So I changed that to 85%, reason is because it was, the CPU was always running in full low. It was at 99, so I had to definitely lower that and um, click down here. And this should be automatically set to 100% uh, with your maximum power processor state. So yeah, you might want to make a change to that. Um, um, it de definitely does come with the uh, Windows settings, but I recommend the AMD Ryzen. Um, settings to do that and uh, I'll show you just where to download that. Now what you want to do is just type in AMD on your Google search or whatever search uh, platform you use and uh, we go down here to drivers and support okay all right so you want to do is you want to go down here go to chipset and you want to click on the AMD socket AM4 and you're going to click on the B450 
on this PC, I do have the uh, Maria 3, so that's what it is. It's a B450. Uh, submit. And now you're going to want to click on Windows 10 64 bit if you have Windows 10. And um, what you'll do here is just click on download, and that should be it. Um, you'll install it, it'll maybe have your computer restart. So that's one. And for the Ryzen Master, we'll just type it in here. Go to oops, Ryzen Master. Okay. All right. So we'll click on here the Ryzen Master. And let's exit that. And you're gonna to want to go all the way down, perhaps in the bottom here. Uh, download. Download it, um, and um, pretty much uh, once you download it, so you you don't really need to set anything up um, on your part. It just automatically appears like this once it's downloaded. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, just uh, please uh, give me a subscribe and a thumbs up, and I'll greatly appreciate it. You guys have a great one, and thank you.